um, design is always about collaboration. So we, uh, I mean, first of all, we of course collaborate us three together, and uh, we also collaborate in we search for other people to collaborate with that has other knowledge than us. So, for example, we have been working with um, magicians. So we have created a cupboard together with that Poro then has produced. That is, uh, you open it up and it's white, and then when you close it again, then it's black. So it has changed color when you open it and close it. And um, we, we find inspiration in, in different technologies and different other kinds of fields than design and we find that our things that we our design is a lot about adding that little extra feature that makes people look at it again or explore it a little bit further and perhaps even wonder how it's made like a test mm. studio this, we, we do a lot of tests yeah it's uh, it's uh, really a mess sometimes but it's uh, i think that's, that's an important part to be able to to test and i mean some things works and some things doesn't work at all something i mean it's always fun to do very experimental projects and to work with projects that you don't know if they're really going to work. Like last year, which is also shown this year, we made a lamp called Surface Tension Lamp, where it's a, it's a soap bubble that blows up that creates the lampshade. So it's constantly changing and it, it's a LED light. So the LED lights last for 25 years, but the lampshade is constantly changing. And that was, that was such a fun project because we... we so all of a sudden we had to sort of start a research lab around so soap bubbles and it was all these kind of strange things we didn't know and it was much more complicated actually than we ever imagined but it was a it's it's really really it's a challenge when you do those kind of projects you don't know if it's if it's going to be possible or not but Um, the gentle shirt that we made for Poro is for us a, a really fun product and we uh, we love the fact that when you first see it it's quite an, a simple and uh, yeah it's a basic simple chair but then when you sit on it the backrest is flexible so it adds like an extra comfort and we really wanted to create a chair that was like a dining chair but you really would like to stay there for a long time. You want to long dinners around a big dining table and that's what's the big idea. I think we want to add something extra. I think that when we are looking for objects that we love to have in our homes, we want to have something that you can sort of tell a little story around or that's perhaps when you have lived with it for a while, it sort of stops. We want things to mean something for you for a long time. And, and we, uh, we believe in adding that little fe feature that makes you curious about, about object in general as well. That perhaps you, you look at one of our objects and then you go home and you look at something else you have at home and then you sort of rediscover that object in a way. And, and that, that, that I think is a really fantastic mm. quality if we, if, we, if we can do that. I think when, when I was a child I always wanted to be a doctor and I actually think that yeah, I, I, that's something that I, I will explore in my next life. But... Oh. Very tricky. <laughs> well, I think, I mean, we, we do a lot of collaborations and work with different people, and I think it's a, it's a lot of uh, professions that are 
so creative, but you don't think about it. For example, engineers who can solve all kinds of problems and build uh, amazing things that you don't think is possible. Maybe that would be something.